Hello, welcome to Nosley Safari. My name's Ellie, and today we're going to be talking all about giraffes, as they are my favourite animal. So, as you can see, these are our two lovely giraffes. We've got Alex and Orbit, and they've been here for quite some time now, so if you've been to us before, you might have seen them. So my favourite fact all about the giraffes is about their neck. So you can see they've got a really nice big long neck, and it helps them to get all the leaves at the tops of the trees. Now, that neck is made up of seven bones, only seven, which is the same number that you've got in your necks as well. And I've got one here. So this is a giraffe neck bone. So this top bit here is known as a ball, and this bottom bit here is known as a socket. And they would stack one on top of another, and they can move them around in different directions. So if you jump up, have a little go moving your hips around, because we've got a ball and socket joint on our hips as well. So we can move them from side to side and forwards and backwards and all the way around. So it means that giraffes can move their necks around. And they do this a lot when they're fighting. So the boys will have a little fight with each other and the winner gets all of the girlfriends. So that's all about their nice big long necks. We're going to move on now to their tongues. So if you have a little look, see how the giraffes are using their tongues. So they'll stick their tongue out, wrap it around the branches and pull all the leaves off. Now you might notice it's black in colour, so I've got a pretend one here, so if I roll it out like this, you can see that it's really long, so it is 45 centimetres long. So try find a ruler and you can see how long that is at home. Now they are dark in colour because out in Africa when they're sticking their tongues out and they're wrapping it around the branches and pulling the leaves off, if, it, if the tongue was pink, it would get sunburned. And can you imagine getting a sunburned tongue? You don't want that. So they've got a nice dark tongue to protect them from the sun. Now, we're gonna have a little think about what they eat. So they use their tongues to get all of the leaves and they get a lot of the water they need from the leaves as well. So they hardly ever have to put their head down to the ground to drink water from the ground, which is really good for them because that would be a dangerous position to be in. So once they've swallowed, their food, they do, this is a little bit disgusting, sorry about this, they do a little bit of a burp and they bring it back up and they chew it again. And then when it goes down, they've got a really special stomach which has got four bits to it. So by the time it gets squeezed and squeezed and squeezed, they get absolutely everything they can out of their food. They don't waste anything. So I've got a little mystery bag here and we're gonna have a little look in this now, okay? So ooh, if you've got any guesses, have a little guess what you think it might be now and I'll pull one out. This here is a bit of giraffe poo. Um, it's not a real one. Um, it's a bit of Play-Doh, but it shows you the size of, of a giraffe poo. Now, I thought it would be a lot bigger, but actually giraffes have got tiny poo. It's a bit like Maltesers. You'll never eat them in the same way again now. Sorry about that. So this here is the size of giraffe poo, um, and because they swallow their food and they burp it back up and then it goes through all four bits of their stomach. They don't waste anything and they've got really tiny poo. So I hope you've enjoyed learning a little bit more about our lovely giraffes and seeing a little bit about them today. Um, hopefully see you again soon. Thanks.